Hi everyone and welcome to AMRAC Impact. I'm here with Dr. Sanjula today from AMRAC Institute. Thanks doctor for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Right. So uh, based on your experience doctor, uh, what are some of the latest trends and some of the advancements you've seen in the healthcare industry? So with the healthcare industry, obviously recently we've seen many events such as the pandemic and also uh, a few outbreaks of diseases within right. our country. So you can see that there's a huge demand for doctors right, as yeah. well as nurses yeah. to combat these situations. So it's the same elsewhere as well. So in the countries such as the United States, they've mapped out by 2031, they'll be needing at least uh, another 200,000 nurses to wow. meet that demand. Right. Yeah. That, that translates to about a 40% increase by that time yeah. within the healthcare sector. So obviously you see there's an exponential growth. Exactly right. So um, go, going back to MRAC Institute, right? could you tell us a bit more about the institute and maybe what, what, what are some of the things, what are some of the courses they have, uh, what are they doing right now uh, to keep up with these latest trends in, in the healthcare industry? So basically, AMRAC Institute of Medical Sciences is a premier school for medical sciences in Sri Lanka. Right. Uh, they offer courses ranging from a foundation in nursing mm -hmm. to a uh, high diploma in biomedical sciences and also a certificate course in nursing. Uh, so through these courses, it offers a wide array of uh, job opportunities and professions right. within the healthcare sector, mm -hmm. which is to basically combat this huge demand for um, professionals in the healthcare sector okay. that need it everywhere basically. So AMRAC would be able to supply that increasing demand. Yeah. Uh, could you also take me through some of the processes or, or practices that they have in place to maybe aid these students into you know becoming and shaping them into you know allied healthcare professionals? Yeah, definitely. So I think recently you've seen a um, change in the education sector as well moving from just on-site lectures right. to a more virtual world basically. So AMREC does offer uh, courses that are integrated with a lot of technological aspects as well. So students are exposed to using uh, resources such as the VR headsets which they can use for lessons in subjects such as anatomy and also uh, they're provided with the state of the art laboratories for the practical uh, components in their courses as well as skill labs where they can uh, perform these uh, medical procedures and practice thoroughly before going into hospitals and last of all while they're being um, while they're gaining experience in the last few years in the nursing uh, course they'll be uh, basically shadowing nurses and working with them at the hospital right. so they get uh, a very rich and uh, basically a very good experience while actually working within hospital to gain experience. So it's not just theory, it's also, you know, practice, you know, they, they get to actually be in there with exactly. the nurses, with the doctors, you know, and, and, and see how, how the healthcare, the exactly. hospital ecosystem, you know. There's only so much that you can learn from books, right? right? Exactly. So basically most of it is actually doing and learning on your own as well, yeah, yeah, which I'm right. So now we've spoken about you know the global demand for, for uh, healthcare professionals. We've spoken about what AMREC as an institute has to offer and what they're doing differently, right? Um, so in terms of let's say partnerships, either local or international, um, what what can you say that AMREC has to offer in terms of uh, uh, partnerships? So. Rather than most of all the programs that we offer at AMRAC are highly integrated with foreign universities. So, you can take Australia for example. Uh, we've got partnerships with uh, UTS, which is the uh, University of Technology of Sydney, um, and as well as Flinders University. And that's Australia. If you take the UK, we have the Birmingham City University. And if you take Canada, we're integrated with the uh, SEC. So basically what this means is you can complete portion of your program in Sri Lanka and do the remaining portion in these foreign universities. Right. Um, basically this means that you'd be getting exposure in that country before you actually start working. This is critical when it comes to employment in those countries. Since you actually gain experience in the uh, 
uh, in the facilities available there that gives you the upper hand before you even start. And it's a smooth transition, a much smoother transition than trying to uh, migrate after you finish your degree. Right. So I've also heard that MREC is uh, known for uh, their, their nursing courses. Would you take me more right. to so, that? So uh, in terms of nursing, so MREC offers a nursing program which you can start from the foundation level. Uh, basically, uh, completing this would be awarded by it would be awarded by Tibet, which means you can practice at Sri Lanka without issue. Uh, and if you want to pursue uh, you know, nursing further, you can do a top up with the, the Birmingham City University, mm -hmm. which is a one year top up degree. Mm -hmm. Upon completion of this, you'd have a degree that's recognized anywhere in the world. Wow. So you can get recruited into any country uh, within the scope of nursing. Right, so you, you, you let me get this straight. So you start off with your foundation, right? And then you then move on to your diploma. Yeah, right. right. And these two are awarded by the TIMEC. Yeah. Right. right. And then if Maybe I want, I can even do a one year top up and yeah. get, gain a professional qualification directly from the exactly. exactly. university. That, that's great because I've heard like nursing has a massive demand, yeah. right? In uh, not just in Sri Lanka, in, in countries yeah, exactly. like yeah, Australia, the UK, even European countries, right? So that, that, that's, that's great. That's an institute like AMREC, which is based in Sri Lanka, is giving all these opportunities for students and other individuals so because you know their, their healthcare career. Right. Um, so I've also heard that uh, 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 there's, a, there's a program in place for doctors, right, to uh, basically uh, prepare for their exams in the UK and even maybe get jobs. Yeah. Um, so I think, um, or rather, some of us know that you know migrating to a different country for a doctor is a bit difficult. So before you can actually practice, there is a licensing exam for every other country. Right. Yeah. Right. Like we have one here. Exactly. Like, yeah. So in the UK, there's an exam called the PLAP exam, or it's going to be called the UK MSA exam. So for doctors to navigate all this on their own is a little bit chaotic and hectic. So I'm not very familiar with it. And it's a lot of new information coming in as well. So with AMREC, we have a program set uh, starting from the OET exams, which is a requirement to work in the UK, mm -hmm. all the way to the final exam, which is an OCT exam, which is um, with you know procedures and consultations done. So to right. navigate all of this, we have a program in place to help doctors uh, to get these exams done, but doesn't finish off there. Uh, you got your GMS registration. There's obviously the job hunt, yeah. and a lot of doctors find it very made it difficult. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what we have is a job placement mm -hmm. program as well, where we have a network in the UK, and we assist doctors in finding recruitment there, rather than trying on their own and finding it difficult without any luck. We'll try our best shot to secure some job decisions for these doctors. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, I think recently we also had a doctor go uh, from Amrak to the UK, that was Dr. Sajjan. Right. He's working in uh, Manchester in the anesthesia uh, department. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, thank you Dr. Govind for sharing your valuable insights with us and uh, the audience as well. Right. Um, before we quickly wrap up, do you have any uh, key message that you want to leave the audience with? You know, anyone who's maybe dreaming of uh, 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 being a healthcare professional or even enrolling or checking out AMREC Institute? Uh, so first and foremost, any career in the healthcare sector is a tiring and rigorous profession. There's going to be sleepless nights, there's going to be hard times. But it's deeply rewarding as well, right. seeing the satisfaction on the patients that you treat, the family members that they overcome a huge hurdle in their life, maybe a disease or an accident. Uh, it is deeply rewarding and it's very gratifying as well. So people who can, it's not cut out for anyone, it's a right. thing. So people who are, you know, committed to getting through these hurdles and to get that satisfaction, who have that passion for helping others, who are in desperate need. AMREC is definitely in place to nurture that passion, to create that into a proper healthcare professional who can make an impact in these people's lives. Right. Thank you. Thank you for your valuable insight, Dr. Cook.